Trying new things can be fun, hard, exciting, and a little bit nerve-wracking, but you'll never know if it's the thing for you unless you give it your best shot. So today, I'm giving my best shot at being a firefighter. <laughs> Honorable, dedicated, compassionate. All words that describe the qualities of a firefighter. The brave men and women who run into danger for the greater good. They are strong in times when others are at their weakest. But prior to their heroic acts, they all had to start from the beginning. I started this at 45. I was looking to be part of something important and I, this is the best choice I've ever made. It really is. Sergeant Morgan Doyle, a driver for the Cave Spring Volunteer Fire Department, was kind enough to train me. The first task on our list is getting into turnout gear. The object is to get in your gear completely, correctly, in a minute and 30 seconds. Each person sets their gear up a different way, but the typical order is to put your hood on first, then you put your boots on, after that you put your suspenders on, then you go for your coat, zipping it up all the way, hooking the hooks, and snapping the butt. Dang, it's hot in this thing, guys. And then you back your hood off, put your helmet on, strap it down. For some reason, I was having a hard time <laughs> strapping my helmet on quickly, messing up over and over again. Hey, is that better? And last, you put your gloves on. Is this the hardest part? Yes, usually it is. Okay, good. Okay, and then when you're done, since it's being time, hands on your helmet. Then you're done. That's how you know who's first. So we do a lot of practice with that, and we have a lot of fun. We um, do races between each other just to see who can do it the fastest. Now, I love a little competition, okay. so it was time for a race. Ready? Okay, how fast do you think I'm going to do this in? Um, I have faith in you. Say just under two minutes. All right, so I'm going to fail in your eyes. Let's find <laughs> out. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Go. The race was underway. Everything that we do gets you ready for when you go on a run. Getting the gear on really fast and getting on the truck is really important. The other guys finished quicker than I thought they would, but I wasn't too far behind. <laughs> Even Sergeant Doyle was impressed with my performance. Did not expect a minute and a half. I was thinking more like three. <laughs> Nope. All right. Close though. There are two factors when being judged on turnout gear. Doing it in under one and a half minutes and getting it on correctly. Your hood should be off and your strap has to be under your chin. Oh, man. You almost made it. It was close. It was fast though, It right? was fast. Though I did not actually pass the first test, Morgan allowed me to move on to the next stage of training. Forcible entry. The object is to get in the door as quick as possible. The first step of forcible entry is to make sure the door isn't just unlocked. We've actually rolled up on a scene. One of the guys is, bust the door down, bust the door down. I go, no, wait. And I turn the handle and the door open. All right. So always try before you pry is the rule. Try before you try pry. Try before you pry. Okay, let's get that on a shirt. Once you determine that it is locked, you shock the door. It helps you maybe break it open a little bit and get some leverage points and also find out where the lock might be. After we discovered the lock was in the middle of the door, it was time for the next step. Put your foot on here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that might be us. Right in the middle of training, the firefighters got a call for a structure fire. That's us. At first, I didn't hear the call description, and, and so I hopped on the truck and I just heard flames showing. They allowed us to follow them to the call, where we saw multiple fire trucks and many firefighters at the scene, each with their own job. This was actually my first fire I've been on. The adrenaline was high. The fire was under control fairly quickly, and no one was injured. The training through Roanoke County is bar none. We go through the same academy that the career side would go through. They make sure that you know what you're doing before you are placed in a dangerous atmosphere. After the call, we headed back to the station and back to work. I got the gear back on and felt more determined than before. So that's kind of what, I mean, happens all the time. You're just in the middle of something, you have to break and then. Yeah, normally it's dinner though. Nor it's always they it's always dinner <laughs> or a movie. Right. Now I feel ready. So now we're gonna make a, an, an, an entry hole. After shocking the door, forcible entry includes driving your ax and prying it with the halligan and then working it again and again until the door breaks open. Now I wanna kick it. 
<laughs> yeah, that's only in the movies. Yeah, I know. And then we go through. Now you go through. And we save all the lives. Right. After I was through the door, I was also through with my training, which may have only included two parts, but it was more difficult than I expected. There was those days where uh, when I started in August, I really regretted it, uh, being 95 degrees and all turnout gear running around outside. But um, every, everything I've had to do for down here has definitely paid off. It's been a wonderful experience. Spending the afternoon with these firefighters really showed me how close and supportive they are for each other. I've got best friends that I've met down here. I look forward to being on duty. We have a great time. These guys down here are great to hang around with. And if you're interested in joining their team, come on down. I mean, we'll give you a ride along and show you what it's like. And we'll give you the truth and we'll tell you ex exactly what you can expect. If you're interested in learning more about what it takes to be a volunteer firefighter, visit cavespringfire.org and fill out the volunteer interest form by July 11th.